Hi, this is Cheryl St. Pierre of Majestic Wire Artworks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these woven leaf floral earrings. And as per normal, your supply list will be in the description below. And um, I, I've been asked this for, with a different pair of earrings um, that I made with the flowers. I purchased these flowers a long time ago and I still have inventory of them and um, so I'm going to source out where you can get something if not exactly the same as this as this but very similar and um, so I will put links in the description for that so let's begin we're gonna start with making um, the leaf itself and go from there so I would like you to take your um, four inch piece of 20 gauge wire and your ruler and I would like you to measure one inch and give it a slight bend. We just want a slight bend. there yeah but we do want it to be a crisp bend so I use my nails there now I'm gonna crisp it up with my pliers with my chain nose pliers I'm gonna go like this and then go on the opposite side and give it another squeeze okay so it just crisp crisps <laughs> my mouth crisps it up for you and uh, so the next thing you want to do is take your 26 gauge um, weaving wire and we're going to take the longer part and we're, we're going to um, coil 16 wraps and try and do it as nice and neat and tight as possible so when you're wrapping don't put too much of a spread between you can have a little bit like this and then um, push them together compress them from both sides okay and see how this is messy on that side I'm gonna unwrap that we're not going to count that as part of the wrap there see now it's neater so we have five wraps there so far six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 16 and compress them nice and tight okay and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, snip the crimp this end off or snip this end off and crimp it in Okay, and I'm going to slide it down to where the bend is and we want the bend to be in the, approximately as close as you can in the center of the coiling because that's going to be the bottom the bottom of the leaf see I don't have exactly centered there and you know what that's okay because it a leaf is not perfect and uh, we just go with it but just as best as you can and now I want you to take your pliers and gently make that bend more exaggerated we just didn't want it too bent because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to slide the coiling over top okay so give it a bend Let's just compare it um, I'm making just one right now I would get you to do both of yours at the same time so as soon as you're done uh, coiling with this one I want you to coil the same one with the other one 
um, so that when you bend that you have a similar bend so your leaves end up being the same okay so that's the beginning of it and now the next thing I want you to do is measure on your pliers where the width is approximately seven to eight millimeters wide now right here on the widest part of mine is eight millimeters so I'm going to use that for the next step so I've got it hugged up against the corner there giving it a gentle squeeze and then bending like that and then I'm going to do the same thing on this side Okay, and then you can see at that point, well, that doesn't look like a leaf. So we need to make this angle sharper down here. Does that look like a leaf yet? We want this angle sharper too. I'm just going to compare it to this. Of course, you, you'll have an easier time. Now, that's pretty close, right there. Okay. Now, I'm hoping I can show this accurately on camera. Okay, so we're not closing up the leaf yet because we want to make that easier to do our weaving. And I think... This move budged over a little bit. But I'm going to straighten out this wire. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is see where um, where this wire is on top. You want the opposite on the other side to give that uh, nice woven look with this type of weave. So I'm going to go under like that. And then I'm going to wrap twice around. Once. Okay. So it's actually really once, but it's showing twice. And now I'm going to go, because we're on top again, we're going to go down underneath and across to the other side. Pull it tight. Okay, and now we're going to wrap that once and twice. Okay, and go underneath. And if your wire gets crooked, straighten it. Because you can't, once it's on the leaf, you can't straighten it anymore. So you can straighten it as you go. two wraps once twice it's probably more like one and a half times but just so that it looks like it's two on the outside go underneath I feel like we're going in and out of focus doing the best I can so once Twice. I'm going to straighten the wire. Okay. Underneath. And down underneath again. And just go back and forth. And you want about a total of 14 wires crossing over which is like seven on each side wow we're really going out of focus here and now going up heart hill as i call it as it's getting larger it it's easier to keep 
in place. And I'm still going to compress. And now it's going to be harder as we're going smaller. So we will compress each time. I'm going to try and keep it there. Because that's, this is the challenge. So now I'm going underneath. So how many do we have there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we want 14. So um, another six. That's not too bad. Get the majority of them where you're going uphill, as I call it. So I'm holding the weave in place there in hopes that I keep it the accurate size. Pushing it over. And I'm going to straighten the wire again. Got all kinked up. So this is actually a, something you need to be patient with. Don't rush. And I've lost count again. I don't know if that's just age. Push it up, push it up. Let's count it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. This is the trickiest part right here. The trickiest part of the whole pair of earrings. Straighten that out. Underneath. Got to keep pushing it. These tend to get messy on you. But you know what? The messy look, if it gets messy, it's still going to look good. If you can't get 14, be good with 12. Let's see how many I've got. I think I've only got 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And this makes 12. I'm going to quit at 12 on this one. You can see that the wire moved on me a little bit. We're going to compress it there. Okay, so now what we want to do is we're going to coil that wire there, jump over here and coil back there to um, help keep these wires into place. Here, push this one back up. Yeah, 
It's way harder making this behind a camera. Okay, so I'm going to go over. And uh, my wire is really long. I only had a, a foot and a half. But I'm to make it easier, I'm going to I'm going to snip it off so it's about mm, two and a half inches long. Just to make it easier. And I'm going to use my pliers to pull it through. Push that in. Compress as best you can anyways. Pretty close. Now it's going to not be perfect. We weren't expecting it to be. The end of the leaf looking as best you can is the most important part. And I'm going to snip this off and crimp it in. I'm going to snip it off so it's in the middle. Okay, so in order to make it look a little bit neater, you can push on these wires so that they go, um, so that they bend inward, push them down, <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it, to make them um, rounded, and um, that just makes them have a cleaner look. And there we are. Okay, the next step is we are going to, um, it's got a cleaner look there. Doesn't matter. Okay. You get to choose what side you want to be the front, whichever looks nicest. And we're going to bend this around and crimp it down. And that's the leaf. See, and it's kind of cute. This one's, I think it's a little smaller than the other one. And, um, yes, yeah, quite a bit smaller. Working behind the camera, just the depth of field there just um, really changed things for me. But, uh, you know what? All leaves aren't the same anyways, so it's part of part of being handmade. Okay, so the next thing we have to make the rest of the earring, or almost all of it. So if we're going to put this, set this aside. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is take your 6 inch piece of 20 gauge wire and your ruler. And I need you to bend 
it at half an inch from the end. And we want it to be a sharp corner, 90 degree. So again, I'm going to take my pliers and um, clean the bend up. Okay, like that. And what we're doing is making um, the spiral head pin. So what this um, does is not all cases are is it convenient to do this but in this instance we can when we coil it up it's going to come um, make a neater looking head pin to put your beads on okay so the first thing you got to do is take the very tips of your chain those pliers and bend curve crimp it down I'm going to bend it a little bit more. Okay, crimp it down. Of course, it's trying to get away on me all the time tonight. I'm going to move this out of the way. And, okay, so I've crimped it down this way. Now I'm going to crimp it back this way to close that up and make the bud right there. Beautiful bud right there. And then I'm going to grab it and start coiling it. I mean, spiraling it. Did I get airspace? Nope, it's looking good. And you just keep going till you get to that corner. Okay, so it's a nice end. See how we bent this? Now we straighten that up. And this work hardens it anyways, and this will be underneath the beads, so that's good. So it doesn't matter. And then I actually bent back. So I'm going to grab it where the corner was and push it back. Okay. So it's always good to straighten out the wire. I, I'm, I'm not sure how many times I've showed how to straighten wire, but I just use my fingers most of the time like that. See, when you bend it, give it a slight bend. It actually, the bend straightens it as you go. Work hardens it too, which is okay in this instance. Okay. And just straighten that up a little bit more. Okay, now it's time for the beads. So the first thing you're going to need is a four millimeter bicone that matches um, what you're doing, the, bead, uh, the floral beads you're doing. And then um, we're using a tiny little florette. Now this is um, 10 millimeters wide and um, five millimeters tall. So in case you're needing to find something in those dimensions, uh, like I said, I'm going to try and source out something that's very similar to this. And that's going to be the bottom of your flower. Okay, and then um, take the blue. This is kind of a lake blue. See how the this matches the bicone? And then I've got a deep pink sitting over top. Okay, go in there. Don't peek over the camera. 
Here we go. Okay. So the next thing we are needing is another one of the little tiny white florets. Like that. So the next thing we would do is put the leaves on. And um, what we are wanting is the front of this earring. This leaf is on the left hand side. Uh, we're not going to worry about um, the coiling what direction is for mirroring, but your leaf, you want it on, this one's on the right, we want this one on the left. That's all that's important with this one. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to choose which side of your leaf is nicer looking, and that will be the top. Okay, let's go like that and then I'm going to wrap around and then see I'm going to compress that wrap okay and push it down a little bit okay so then the next thing we want three more bicones hiding on me. There it is. Okay. And now we make our loop. So we're going to make the loop and I'm going to wrap, wrap around this. And I'm also going to wrap around where the leaves are and it kind of locks them in place. Now this is your choice. If you're comfortable with the leaves spinning around, and being on whatever side you want it to be on, you don't need to do that. But it really isn't hard to do. And I need my round nose pliers. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. It's, it's actually, we're not being fancy with it at all. Okay, so I'm going to um, make my loop so I can get th approximately three wraps in. And it got messy on me, and I'm going to fix it. By crimping it up. And I'm going to do, it's actually two wraps, I think. Okay, so I'm stopping there. Just a normal wrap. And now I am going to just... I'm gonna hang on to this. Actually, a chain nose pliers would be easier. Okay, and I'm going behind and angling down just loosely, not tight. Not trying to get in between the beads. If I happen to, then so be it, but we're not, that's not what the goal is. We want it to look like a, a vine. Okay, and now, now this is the front of the, this is the front of the earring. We are going to, I'm going to flip hands, wrap around the leaf, the base of the leaf like that. And, and again like this. And we want to snip it off there and tuck it in right there. Or you could wrap around one more time and tuck it in at the back. Maybe that's what we'll do. And we'll tuck it in right there at the back. So let's snip it off and crimp it in. Okay. 
So you want to take your leaf and kind of have it at the same angle that you did the other one. So you're going to be doing both of them sim simultaneously. Okay, so I'm like that. So I want it like that. So that's what's nice about being flexible is you can adjust the leaf to be the way you want it to be. And now we're going to do a little, um, I'm not sure what you call those little spirals, but it's like a tendril, really. And then you just take around those pliers and you're wanting to get smaller as you go down. But I mean, if it doesn't get drastically smaller, it doesn't matter. And you just wrap it around about three or four times. You want to do the same wraps on both. Doesn't have to be neat. It could be close together. Okay, I've got three there. And I had three there. Okay, now I'm going to snip it off around here and I'm going to bend it in so it touches itself so there's no sharp edge. So right about there. Take my chain nose pliers and bend it in. Crimp it in there. Okay, and now I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. Just a little. Okay. And there it is. So it's ready for its... Oh. Okay, that's the front. Ready for the ear wire. And there they are, all done. Okay, well, thank you for joining me with this video and um, best of luck with your earrings. And uh, God bless and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for joining me.